We've all seen President Trump's signature move where he walks out to his campaign rallies pumping his fist in the air. We also witnessed during his assassination attempt after the Secret Service brought him up behind that podium that he deliberately waved his clenched fists in the air defiantly again. You know, he wanted to finish that speech, but the Secret Service convinced him they needed to get him out of there, and we know that they rushed him off stage to his motorcade. Trump realized he could have been killed. It, that bullet missed by a difference of by a quarter of an inch. Trump said, by luck or by God, many people are saying it's by God, I'm still here. You know, after the assassination attempt, billionaire businessman Elon Musk came out and formally endorsed Donald Trump. And he posted this. The last time America had a candidate this tough was Theodore Roosevelt. And you know what? Elon Musk knows his history because he's right. You know, Trump and Roosevelt share a lot of similarities, and not the least of which both managed to survive assassination attempts. And both of them demonstrated grit and resolve. So here's the backstory on Roosevelt. The election's 1912. Roosevelt failed to get the Republican nomination in his re-election bid. The Republican Party is split. Roosevelt goes off and starts his own political party, the Progressive Party. And that race ended up being a three-way a three race between Taft, Wilson, and Roosevelt. And Roosevelt, being the former president, went out and very actively campaigned that fall to, to get votes. Well, October the 14th, 1912, he was campaigning in the Hotel Gilpatrick in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Left the building, came out to his waiting car, climbed in, waved to the crowd, and a man stepped forward and fired a 38 caliber pistol at point blank range, five feet or less, right at Roosevelt and hit him. His name was John Schrank. He was a 36-year-old New Yorker. We come to find out later that he actually had stalked Roosevelt through eight states waiting for the right opportunity to shoot Roosevelt. Well, the, the crowd around him tackled Schrank right there to the ground and they really, the mob was ready to turn on him. Roosevelt stuck his hand inside his jacket and pulled it out and noticed that his shirt was bloodied. And he sort of dismissively said, well, he just pinked me. But Roosevelt ordered the crowd to not hurt, Sh not to hurt Shrank until the police got there. And they told him to bring him to him. And so they brought Shrank over to Roosevelt. We know that Roosevelt made eye contact with him and glared at him. Then Roosevelt told his driver that he wanted to go on to the next campaign speech. And staffers tried to urge Roosevelt to go to the hospital and get checked out. After all, he had just been shot. And Roosevelt said, give me that speech. It may be the last I shall ever deliver, but I am going to deliver this one. And then he went on to say that this is my big chance and I'm going to make that speech if I die doing it. And we know that Roosevelt showed up at that campaign event. He probably very dramatically got the crowd to quiet down, and then he proceeded to tell them that he had just been shot. And I can imagine their gasp and their reaction to that. Roosevelt pulled out his speech. His 50-page speech had been folded. We call it the bullet speech because Roosevelt opened that, that speech up and showed the crowd where the bullet hole had went through it. And he said, it takes more than a bullet to kill a bull moose. Roosevelt went on and gave that speech for 50 minutes, 50 minutes. And then afterwards conceded to go to the hospital and get checked out. We know that when he had x-rays there at the hospital, it showed where the bullet lodged in his chest, where it had been deflected and slowed down by that 50 page speech. And also behind that, he had had a metal glasses case that, else, that also helped stop the trajectory uh, of that bullet. You know, doctors looked at it and they never removed the bullet. Roosevelt never had any infection. They didn't believe it was worth the risk to do surgery. And you know what? Roosevelt carried that bullet around for the rest of his life. Ironically, the 2024 Republican National Convention, which was held in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, was just two blocks away from where Teddy Roosevelt's assassination attempt took place. If you go to the Hyatt Regency Hotel, it's 
where the site of the old Gilpatrick once stood. If you go inside the Regency, they have a memorial on the wall there detailing the assassination attempt on Teddy Roosevelt's life. You know, the London Daily Mail said that the assassination attempt will win him the presidency. Well, the Daily Mail didn't predict that correctly. Roosevelt did lose his re-election bid, and Woodrow Wilson, the Democrat, got elected because the Republican Party was split between Taft and Roosevelt. Now, we're just a few, several months outside of the general election here in 2024. I want to ask you a question. Do you think the assassination attempt on Trump's life enhanced his chances at re-election? I'd really be curious as to what you think. You know, a lot of recent headlines have a big diversity of opinions. And I would be curious as to what your thoughts are. Post your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like what you watched today and you feel like you got power, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't shared our videos, do us a favor and do that as well. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do that now. Thanks for joining us today. Check out our other videos on our channel.